Shalom, 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 yashallah. Shalom. That what I buy yashallah here. Coming up with part two of this, uh, the, the last sit down. It's titled, The Man's Foe Shall Be They of His Own Household. Okay, a man's foe shall be they of his own household. And let's get that precept. So we could, uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all glory and honor to Yahweh by Shema Masiach Yahweh Shai, by Shema Kakadash, our true Father's name, who this world even calls God, and Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the true Lord's Lord's King of the Kings, who this world even calls Jesus the Christ, but his true name is Yahweh Shai Mashiach. He is a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Let's bring out that precept and start the second part of this sit down. Book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 36. Matthew 10 and verse 36, and it reads, A man's foe shall be they of his own household. A man's foe shall be they of his own household. I brought out many precepts in the uh, part one of this two-part series. A man's foe shall be there of his own household. So let's get into it. Uh, let's see. Let's, I left off with Mark 10, verse 29. Let's go Matthew 10 and 21. So let's... Backtrack a little, Matthew 10, chapter the 21st verse. Matthew 10 and 21 reads, And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Okay, first priest, I'm going to bring out Matthew 10th chapter, 21st verse. Read again. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Matthew 10 and 22. And it reads, And ye shall be hated of all men, for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Matthew 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. He that endureth to the end shall be saved. Saved from what? From Jacob's trouble that's coming to this land, Babylon the Great. The United Snakes of America. Okay. Matthew 10 and 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. The father, the child. <clears throat> and the children also rise up against the, their parents. And cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Come. Now let's get a precept on that. Let's go to the book of Mark. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Mark, the 13th chapter and the 12th verse. Mark 13 and verse 12 reads, Now the brother <clears throat> shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the and children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Mark 13 and 13. And ye shall be hated all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Read it again. Mark 12, uh, Salakia, Mark 13 and verse 12. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son. The children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Con. 
precept upon precept. These are the, the Messiah speaking in red letters. Um, this is Mark the 13th chapter. Uh, so like, uh, let me just go back to the book of Matthew to prove a point. Uh, Matthew 12 and 30. Matthew 12 and 30. That if you're not with the Messiah, if you're not going to take the cross and follow him, this is what he says in red letters. Matthew 12 and 30. He that is not with me is against me. And he that not that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Point blank and period. If you're not with the with the Messiah, you're against the Messiah. I just want to prove that point. Okay, let's continue with the lesson. Let's go to the book of Luke. The book of Luke. Twelfth chapter in the fifty first verse. Uh, Luke 12 and 50, verse 51 reads, Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, which means no, but rather division. Luke 12 and verse 51, Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. So he sees he the, the Messiah is telling us he's not coming for peace, and we know in Matthew uh, uh, he's coming with a sword. But here he also stating that rather division, meaning division of all the families, division of, of even the children of Israel, the two third club. You read in Amos nine and and ten that all the sinners of his people will be put to death. You read it in uh, uh, Zechariah. Uh, 13th chapter, verse 8, where two-thirds of, of the of, of Israelites will be put to death and one-third will be tried as silver and gold is tried and they shall be their, uh, uh, the most high's people and he should be their power. Okay? Luke 12 and 51, suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. The most high is not coming for peace. I tell you nay, but rather division. Luke 12 and 52, for from henceforth they shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. Luke 12 and 52. For from henceforth they shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. Luke 12 and 53. The father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father. The mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. I mean, point blank and period. This states that he's not coming for people; he's coming for division. These the, the prophecies. That's why a man's foe shall be they of his own household. They turn around, uh, turn against you when you tell them that you're in the truth and you and you observing the Sabbath. You can't go out on Friday sundown, Saturday sundown. You don't want to honor the uh, these mad folly holidays here, um, Thanksgiving, Xmas Day, and the Fourth of July, and so forth and so on. They say that you're being the outcast, and that's what you will you will be. You be an outcast of your own family. That's why the Messiah says he's not coming for peace, but he's coming for division. And I'm going to read it again. The fa uh, Luke 12 and 53. The father sh shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. I mean, it's written out here. It's in red letters. Yahweh Shai Mashiach speaking. Again, take it any way you want to take it. These are not my words. I'm just a messenger. Let's go get another preset book of Luke 12 and Luke 21 and 16. Luke 21 and verse 16. Luke 21 and verse 16. Read, Salakia. So 
Yeah, okay, Luke 21 and 16 reads, And ye shall be betrayed by both, Salakia, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. I'm going to read it again. Luke 21 and verse 16. Just read in uh, uh, Luke uh, the the 12th chapter, 54th verse, about the division. He's not coming for peace, but division. Now we're going to Luke 21 and verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents, brethren, king folks, friends, and some of you they cause to be put to death. Luke 21 and 17. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Okay, precept upon precept. He's coming for the vision, as you see, he spells it out, um, betrayed by parents, brethren, kinfolks, friends, and some of you, they were caused to be put to death. A man's foe shall come from his own household, to include Yasha Allah, the two-third club, mocking and scorning against the brothers, pushing the truth out there, uh, uh, feeding the flock in sincerity, and they want to mock us. They, you know, they want to call us devils, you know. But all we're doing is reading the Bible, point blank and period. Now we talked, I talked a lot about brothers. Let's go into the Torah, the, 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 the laws of, of, of Yasha Allah, and let's break down some of these precepts about the brother. Let's go back into the book of Leviticus. Leviticus 19, and starting with the 17th verse. Leviticus 19 and 17 reads, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And not suffer sin upon him. Okay. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And not suffer sin upon him. And when you talk about brother, we're talking about another Israelite, either brother, sister, a, 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 a daughter of Zion. When you talk about neighbors, we're talking about neighbors of our nation. They're not the, the, the Bible is not recognizing the other nation's neighbor. We're talking about our own people. Okay, Leviticus 19 and 18: Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudges against the children of thy people. I just covered that. It means your own people. Your brother is your another Israelite, and a and a, and a, a sister is a, a, a sister. A, the daughters of Zion again. Leviticus nineteen and eighteen: Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. Can't make this up. Okay, I want to read it again. Because this is what I see out there. So many brothers out there uh, uh, mocking and, 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 and just, you know, madness against other Israelite brothers. I hope they fully understand this. You know, Leviticus 19, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Leviticus 19 and 18, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of of thy people, meaning your brother and, and your neighbor, meaning your own people, does not mean your neighbor if he's a heathen. Okay, let's get that straight. It says here, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. Point blank and period. Now let's prove that the Bible talks about brothers and neighbors as another Hebrew. Another Israelite. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 15 and verse 12. Deuteronomy 15 and 12 reads, And if thy brother, an Hebrew man, or a Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free with thee. Again, if thy brother, a Hebrew man or a Hebrew woman. So when you talk about the, the brothers and neighbors 
uh, uh, biblically, we're talking of our own people. You should not hold grudges against thy people. We're talking about other Israelites. Many Gentiles and many heathens get it confused of the neighbor being a so-called heathen, you know. Or, 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 I mean, how could we love a heathen next door, which their people put us into captivity? We're talking about our own people. Many people don't get this understanding, but this is clear. If Deuteronomy 15 and 12, if thy brother, an Hebrew man, or a Hebrew woman, those are your brothers and those are your sisters in context. I just wanted to make sure I clear that up and everybody gets a full understanding. The Bible speaks about your brother and neighbors, your own people. Let's go to the book of 1 John. Talk about the brothers. 1 John 4 and verse 20. Uh, 1 John 4 and verse 20. And it reads, If a man say, I love the Most High, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. Just reading it verbatim. 1 John 4 and verse 20. If a man say, I love the Most High, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love the Most High, whom he has not seen? This clear, clears about it. All you so-called Israelites out there, that are talking about that the uh, all, all, all Israel, uh, uh, you know, from the black tribes, and and saying that the uh, our so-called brothers of Indian descent and our Hispanic brothers are not Israelite. That's evil as hell. That's evil as hell. That's why I'm bringing these out. And if the shoe fits, wear it. If the shoe don't fit, then don't wear it. But there's a lot of brother, a lot of hatred. Like I say. Uh, a man's foe shall be of his own household, meaning from our own family, Yasha Allah also. A lot of madness and folly. A lot of brothers out there talking about that our, our Native American um, and Hispanic tribes are not part of, of Israel. That's folly and madness. We're under the same curse, Deuteronomy curses. We're the curses of payments. We have to pay for our water. We were put in slavery even before um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the southern king, the northern, the northern kingdom in 1492 were put into slavery. Our, our, our so-called land, uh, um, um, the rich port, as they call Puerto Rico, as I am uh, from the tribe of Joseph uh, and the tribe of Ephraim, um, you know, put us into captivity, killed our forefathers. They, you know what I mean? I mean, it is what it is. But we have brothers out there that again, they don't love their brother. And that's why I'm bringing this out. First John 4, if a man say, I love the most, I hate his brother, he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love the most high whom he has not seen? Again, if the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. If it fits, it's for you. If it hits the core of your, of your soul, take it as you want to take it. Just reading the Bible. Let's continue. First John 2. A lot of madness out there with with uh, freedom from Yasha Allah, our own people, talking about that we're not Israelites, that that Issachar Mexican brothers are not Israelites. You know what I mean? Being oppressed, being you know, come on. If if the Most High it hasn't opened that up to you, he ain't dealing with you. Point blank. Period. First John two and verse ten. First uh, John two and verse ten. He that loveth his brother abideth in light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him he that loveth his brother abideth in light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him first john 2 and verse 11 but he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and whether or not whither he go because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Khan. All praise and glory. Yahabashim how is shy. Brakatham. But uh, 1 John 2 and 11. But he that hateth his brothers in darkness. 
and walketh in, dark, in darkness, and he knoweth not whither he goeth, because the darkness hath blinded his eyes. You can't make this up, man. If you hate your brother, you're not of the most high point blank and period, and you're a liar. You know, again, if the shoe don't fit, don't worry about it, but if it fits, and you're one of these brothers out here saying that our Native American indigenous people that were killed out here and slaughtered and murdered, are not Israelites, and our Hispanic tribes are not Israelites, you need to repent. Thus save the Lord, thus save the Holy Bible. Any problems, send me a comment and prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Many artifacts, I mean, so much facts out there and, 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 um, to prove that we are Israelites, point blank and period. Let's continue. Well, let me read it again. First John 2 and verse 11. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because the darkness hath blinded his eyes. First John 2 and 12. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven, forgiven you in my name's sake. First John 2 and 13, I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father, which is Yahweh, by Shem Amasiach, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rukakadash, point blank and period. Let's continue, First John. Let's go to First John. Um, 3 verse 10 First John 3 Salakia First John 3 verse 10 And it reads In this the children of the Most High are manifested and the children of the devil Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of the Most High, neither he that loveth not his brother. Read it again, 1 John 3 and verse 10. In this the children of the Most High are manifested, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of the Most High, neither he that loveth not his brother. 1 John 3 and 11, for this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we shall love one another, point blank and period. 1 John 3 and 12, not as Cain, who was of the wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew him he, because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. 1 John 3 and 13, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. 1 John 3 and 14, we know that we have passed from the death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Read it again, 1 John 3 and 14. We know that we pass from death into life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. 1 John 3 and 15, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Can't make this up. All oh, praise and glory. Yah, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. 1 John 3 and 15, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. 1 John 3 and 16, Hereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our life for the brethren. 1 John 3 and 17, But whoso hath this world's good, and sees his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowel of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of the Most High in him. If you see that a brother's in need and you just turn your back on your so-called brother, 
You're a murderer. And, 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 I mean, you're a murderer, and uh, uh, the Most High is not dealing with you. Point blank and period. I'm going to read it again, First John 3 and 17. But whoso hath this world's good, and see his brother have need, and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of the Most High in him? Can't make this up, man. Again, a lot of madness out there. A man's foe shall be of his own household to include Yasha Allah. Or you brothers out there saying that the, our Indian, our indigenous people that were murdered, raped, robbed out here are not Israelites. And the Hispanic tribes are not Israelites. Y'all need to repent. Thus save the Lord. Thus save the Holy Bible. You're a murderer if you don't repent. And a murderer is not going to get eternal life. Point blank and period. Just wanted to bring that out. Just wanted to bring that out. Uh, just sit down. Again, a man's foe shall be there with his own household. I hope it was edifying. Yasha Allah. We need to endure to the end. Our kingdom is nigh as we see the Most High. And the king is, is, is with his wrath and judgment per uh, Sephaniah 3 and 5. Cast his judgment every morning and it fail if not. The fires, the storms, the pestilence, the locusts, all casting his weapons of indignation out here in his wicked land, Babylon the Great, the United Snakes of America. Love your brother, your, your, uh, your, 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 your Israelite brothers and sisters out there. We need to unite. Our kingdom is coming. And with that, I say Shalom.